All right, let's pull his control scheme. What did they just turn off? <laughs> uh, I wasn't paying attention. Maybe pause? Oh, yeah, I think you're right. Okay. Second verse, same as the first. A little bit louder, and hopefully not worse. I love that you knew the follow-up to that. <laughs> oh, I grew up in a bad time. <laughs> I remember those bus rides. You can't ride in my little red wagon. <laughs> those poor bus drivers. I don't know how they dealt with us. <laughs> Here we go. Terra, of course, on Wolf. Bowie Money on Rob. The double Ivysaur right on the screen right now. So much percent racked up in so little time. Yeah, we've seen a lot of this double Ivysaur come out from this team. And it, honestly, it makes sense. It's easy to try to metagame it and figure out, oh, well, if I use this Pokemon and that Pokemon. But it's sort of that thing we were talking about earlier where you have to play three characters and no three matchups. Yep. So trying to get that metagamey with it is just generally not worth it. And so you end up falling back on that mid-stock Ivysaur a lot. Yep. Very unfortunate interaction for Terra and Lily Money as uh, Lily Money accidentally up smashed Terra earlier there. But they are rapidly working their, uh, their way back into the game. Yeah, we've oh, seen time and time there. again that early leads don't necessarily mean a lot in this bracket. Oh. And the double kill there coming out. The si side B from Rob a little bit too close to the edge maybe. Maybe not intended. Maybe just committing all the way to that kill. But whatever the case, certainly make things interesting for this game. Louie Money absolutely lost in the sauce right now. Just throwing out <laughs> yeah, some for of the real. craziest options. <laughs> this has been pretty wild to look at. But it's just working. Terra down to his last stock, as is, uh, so what? Yeah, still three stocks to three here. These teams keeping it very even. Great juggles coming out from red team as well. I feel like the blue team in general has been having a lot of trouble landing once they get into those situations. This timed on the throw punish. Good quick throw from Ivysaur, able to keep out of trouble. Oh my So goodness. many smash attacks. And the armor move, of course, going to be the one that comes out victorious in the end. So ugly that everyone died. The end. <laughs> that didn't help at all. <laughs> but these guys are going to need some serious help to get this last stock off. Whoever gets the first one here is most likely going to win the game. We've seen that so many times. So hard to get those comebacks. So who's it going to be? Is it the Wolf? Is it the PT? Terra getting tossed out, makes his way back in real quick. But it's the Wolf. The wannabe Bowser Fair is going to take Terra's last stock. Louis Money now fighting for his life out here. Yeah, now Yash and temporary plan in the driver's seat and converting so well with that Vine Whip. The classic Vine Whip setup there. Yash and temporary plan getting that upset. Going into game two, Terra and Louie Money. Are we going to see a character switch from Louie Money as he gets serious once again? Terra always willing to try hard, of course. No, he is going to be sticking to the Rob, I guess. I wonder why. Interesting. I feel like there's been a lot of... The top players have been messing around with a lot of characters today in this doubles yes. bracket. Yeah, they have. But it's been working. They're all still in the bracket. But this is the moment of truth. Can Yash and Temporary Plan take advantage of this from Terra and Louie Money? Right out of the gate, forcing Terra and Louie Money back into the corner. Good early damage on red team. Blue team carrying that momentum clearly from the last game. Great parry on that Nair and able to punish it. You don't see that often against a Rob Nair. That's just so hard to do. It's crazy to me how these high tier players are always so intimately aware of the Rob Super Laser and capable of air dodging or parrying it just to get around. Robo Burner, such a good recovery move. Louis Money able to go all the way down the to the double bus kill. Still get back. What happened to that lead from Blue Team out the gate? Terra and Louis Money just found their opening and said, Thank you very much. Are they going to be able to push that momentum, maintain this advantage?
Okay, there's the opportunity. No, the Wolf's able to land safely. Terra staying alive in that situation, as he has been apt to do throughout this entire bracket so well. But will that continue to be the case? Both Charizards on the screen once again. All the up smashes coming out. There's a third one. Still not quite going to kill. Rob, pretty darn heavy. There's a back throw and a forward air. Okay, up throw. The not going to kill. Wow. I know Rob's a heavy boy, but my goodness. At 152, on he is still living. Too. And he just turns it right around and kills Charizard at 96. Goodness and gracious. thank you for the rage. Down smash. Oh, missed time from Terra. And the fly is finally going to kill Louis Money. Louis Money now onto his second stock. Goes for the arm rotors. Down air to cover the get up option. There's a and a down, down smash. smash. So many HP EVs on this Charizard right now, <laughs> able to stay alive at 165. Let's see if he can keep going. So much rage maxed out on the meter right now. Blue Money whiffing that, that grab and getting back thrown for his troubles. And there's the down smash to close it out. However, four stocks to two. This is not looking very good for Blue Team, who had so much momentum at the beginning of this game, but it just turned around on them so fast. Double up air and so what? Covers that landing. Terra now on his and own last And yeah, stock. there we go. Last stock situation for Esk, blue team. Esk accidentally deleting his ally's own stock. And I think we're just going to be going into a game three here momentarily. It's so hard for PT to come back in this situation. Even going for down air there is Terra. Terra always willing to risk it for the biscuit in a situation under which he is in the advantage. Man, the mix-ups have been so good in the corner, being able to stay alive against this pressure. But Red Team's chilling, honestly. They're just, just going to wait it out. Okay, yep, there's that Flare Blitz cheese taking that stock off of Louie Money. Oh, oh. If that, if that kill had gone through there, we might have been able to see something. But there we go, the up the smash. smash. And yeah, Terra Louie Money able to take it. Good stuff to them, not letting it get out of hand. But one stock, though. Good stuff to Blue Team for taking one stock in that 2v1. Mm -hmm. Some very good life advice going on in the chat there. Don't have three <laughs> streams open at the same time, or you'll type in the wrong chat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there are worse things to do in a Twitch chat. Hey, I'm a big multi-Twitch fan. <laughs> Look, I got things to do. I don't have time for downtime. We talked about this. I need the yep, serotonin yep, yep. rush. I got five seconds between a game. I'm going to the next stream. Multiple overlapping simultaneous distress signals, but instead of distress signals, it's <laughs> Twitch streams. All right, into game three. It's all or nothing. Yeah, reminder to everybody, this is best of three all the way through the bracket, which means whoever wins this next game on Battlefield, interesting pick, by the way, is going to move on to the bracket, and whoever loses is out for good. Now, why do you think they might have chosen this stage over any other? Let's we'll see. This is the, the Yash temporary plan counter pick. I feel like they really want to utilize that juggle game from the Ivy source. Makes sense. Good tether recovery from so what? Charizard's out already, 109%. The Flare Bliss getting back safely. Good get up attack through that F smash from Terra. Able to stay alive in that situation. However, one downside is it's gonna be even harder to uh, to juggle Terra on this stage. We've seen him moving around super well with those landing options, and now I feel like that's just completely off the table. The crucial first stock has been lost. S going down to two. Yes, it has. Terra and Louie Money in the, the driver's seat right now. The onus is on Yash and Temporary Plan to come up with that plan to take that stock, and there we the go. patience from Esk there, staying in shield for the longest time. Terra running up and catching a forward air instead. Unfortunate team hit right there. Able to stay alive, though. Reset the situation. Not too big of a deal. Esk whipping out the Squirtle once again. Been the rarest Pokemon on the screen at any given time so far in this set. Good Ooh. up smash. 
However, it is not going to be enough just yet. Three stocks to five. Looking really solid for Red Team. They have adapted so well in this set. Nice two frame on that side B, but the spike trying so hard. Unfortunately, not able to come back. S I feel like. That's tried to save so what there, but couldn't quite reach him. Charizard a little bit too. Much more fast faller. That was such an all or nothing situation. I absolutely respect Yash and Temporary Plan for going for that. They need to pull something out really fast right now to make this happen, to keep themselves in this bracket. And you know, that's the thing with high risk, high reward. Sometimes it's just the risk does not work out. However, there's those up airs we were talking about, and there we go, round two. All of a sudden, despite that tragic misstep, we're back to almost an even game. Oh, getting hit by the pummels while your partner's being grabbed. Never a good feeling. Down smash, gonna down take smash. it. That's huge. What can blue team do here in these last moments? So what has an opportunity for maybe some cheese here, but you gotta get back to stage, my guy. Can you even get back? No, no you can't. That's, that's gonna be it. it. Terra and Louie Money moving on to 